Abby and Alex. Hi, Vinny. Hello. Welcome to the future. Oh, sweet. We got out of it. We're, we're still alive. Mm. Wait. Mm. This, I... this is the past, what we're watching right now. Oh. Yeah. So The past are... looks like the future, though. Well, it's 2107. We're, we're going to watch a little bit of... Um, That's not that far away. No, things were very promising. 2107, we, got a br we have a bright future. Oh, that's great. The people in this game had a bright past. Oh, no. Did that, that ship just event horizon? What no, happened? No, I think that was good. Okay. I think that was good. They found new worlds. All right. No, that's great. Uh, they didn't find a hell dimension. Awesome. I'll fast forward a bit here. This is Battletech. Uh, it is $40 available uh, on PC. Right now, I'm playing on through Steam. It's probably available other places. Published by Paradox, made by Harebrained Schemes. Harebrained Schemes. Uh, here we go, 2571. So as you might guess, once you have um, colonized other worlds, as the, the great works of fiction have told us, people will be reduced to feudal states. Yeah, you gotta uh, have a space emperor. Gotta have a space emperor. Gotta have uh, houses. Yes. You need to join a house. Uh, and eventually, you'll make giant robots that war against each other and try to destroy humanity. Yeah, I mean, that all tracks. In this case, the giant robots are manned by people, making them giant mechs. Okay. In this case, they are battle mechs, and since it's a different name, we just call it Battletech. Okay, wow. yeah, all right. They are really giving us a full history in this hey, here montage. Uh, okay, so Battletech is a very big property, uh, w like, with a lot of stuff. This isn't just an isolated game. Okay, okay. Uh, Battletech, the game comes into being with a lot of stuff around it. Like the only, so my only experience is that I know there was an animated series at some point, like I want to say the late 80s maybe. Okay. Uh, You're not thinking of like Macross No, 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 I think there was an actual Battletech okay. animated series. Probably. And I feel like these that aren't is, Transformers. The, yeah. <laughs> these robots do not transform unless you count like putting new arms and stuff on them. I, oh, I, that's, which, cool. that's parts forming, doesn't count. Okay. Okay, Vinny. Yes. For a moment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pretend I don't know anything uh -huh. about battles. Pretend you're techs, talking to me. Okay. Or mechs for that matter. Uh-huh. Uh, Just tell me what the hell's going on. Well, the, the goal is to build a giant Twinkie. All right. <laughs> uh, no, the, the, well, I'm going to continue with the campaign here. Listen, I am not a battle tech expert. Right. All right I'm going to say that right a out of the gate. battle tech expert? I'm not a battle tech expert. I didn't major in battle tech. Uh, I major. I was an art major. So, right. Mm -hmm. uh, those, well, the art looks really good those, this game. It those does. kids, the battle tech kids, were on the other side of the campus. Okay. I'm just going to talk mostly about the game because there's a lot to talk about outside of the game. I've looked through documents. I've, I've seen the works, the scripts. Uh, what? The universe. The Oh, oh sure, yeah. sure. The lore. The lore. Okay. It's basically like talking about Rogue One without talking about the rest of Star Wars. Okay, sure, sure, so sure. So I'm going to talk about Battletech the game. Mm -hmm. And what's happened here is... Um, uh, I'm just verifying there was an animated series. There was. Well, there was? Okay. Yeah. It's called Battletech. I believe so. So what happened? Okay, you pilot a mech. I've made a backstory for my character. In short, the backstory for my character is I came from like the out, outer colony world, mm -hmm. you know, the the, the wild, frontier, the wild west, the frontier, um, and I kind of got into the center colony worlds. Uh, big war is going on. Uh, a coup is happening. Mm -hmm. The the kind of leader that I was supporting is supposed dead. Uh, my mentor is dead. Everyone's dead. The load times have expanded. Mm -hmm. uh, the people need water. You know, okay, so there's a coup going on. I've been relegated now out to kind of the frontier again with this kind of mercenary. I got picked up by this mercenary band, and they've made me my, their leader. Okay? okay. So I'm running missions now with my battle tech suit, my mech, out on the frontier with this rogue band of mercenaries. Okay. Uh, is it sort of like Future Wild West? It's like that with well, you pilot giant robots. Okay. And like way more interscene political conflict. Um. And so I haven't, in, in my playthrough yet, um, I have not met, I haven't gotten to the big story beats yet. We're right. probably going to do that pretty soon. I've kind of queued it up to what it looks like another big story okay, beat. Okay, what's up with Penfold's Crikey Squad? Uh, that's the name of my That's, that's of my pretty crew. good. <laughs> cool! <laughs> Uh, my my name is Penfold. Yeah, all right. Uh, I named him Penfold, and then I named my is crew he, the, Is he a gerbil? The, 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 <laughs> the Crikey Squad. Listen, uh, the Crikey Squad ain't nothing to fuck no, with. Okay. You know what? Actually, no, that, there's a gerbil-like quality to your mech, I honestly. Know. Um, And this is my... I guess it's more of a gerbil with antlers. I'm going to say I really like that they've gone the extra mile and put little mech it, right? miniatures that, you can, that, that it, someone is painting isn't there. Isn't that adorable? It's yeah. like the captain is painting I love robots. <laughs> oh, I just I love, love them, them so much. Uh, so yeah, that's Penfold's Cracky Squad. Uh, I am uh, Penfold, but I have other crew members like Darius. What do you need? 
Uh, Darius will tell me all about uh, our financials. Oh, we're, we're also deep in debt. Oh, okay. And so the story here, to bring up the speed, we are deep in debt. The banks are going to come collecting. Uh, there are jobs you can take as mercenaries that are sanctioned, mm -hmm. but we need to go outside of that to make more money. So we're going off the grid here to do jobs, like illicit jobs. All these hundreds of years later, we're still doing capitalism. Uh, pretty much. All Why right. don't Darius look us in the eye? Uh, Darius. Darius. Uh, I'm standing off camera. Darius. I'm standing off camera to the right. Uh, Darius, over here, buddy. Nope. Darius. Uh, I've got other friends, too. Uh, Yang, who's in the uh, mech bay. He fixes my, my robots. And this is going to be a lot of the game here. Is you come Yang kind of looks like Pendulette. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, sure. my God. He totally yeah, does. I'll take that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you can talk to your crew. Uh, I'll be here. Get, oh, get cool. more insight and get more dialogue. Uh, yeah, he's got a robot arm. So, so is the dialogue like you're going to choose different branching paths? So they or? give you options. I'm not sure how much it actually branches. Okay. I haven't seen anything of consequence really happen, but I can't really I can't tell. Okay. Uh, occasionally, you will get things like, what should we do, boss? And mm -hmm. you're like, fight them, negotiate with them. Oh, okay. There are other more, I got pop-ups from missions sometimes that were like, hey, the bank is coming collecting. Do you want to strong arm them and, and, and uh, intimidate them to go away? Do you want to negotiate mm -hmm. with them? I don't know if that makes a difference. It might. Okay. Right. Because uh, at, at the end of one of those, it said, hey, the terms of your loan are now fair. Right. And maybe it could have gone poorly. Are these folks sort of like XCOM vendors where they have their characters, they have some personality, but at the end of the day, they're to kind of fill a mechanical need within the game? Or do they actually have like a story purpose and there's sort of a, a bigger story through line with their dialogue? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure At this yet. stage, not yeah. necessarily. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if like Yang will betray me. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, Yang! Dar <laughs> Darius picked me up. And so like you have conversations. They are part of the story like in XCOM the general is. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how much further it goes right. okay. into the game. Okay. Uh, so in the mech bay here is where you will probably spend a lot of your battle tech time. Is that your mech? That is one of my mechs. Okay. Uh, I have, right now, I have these four mechs which are in service. Bear with me. I don't know a lot of this, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. So there are people who are watching who are going to know a lot more of this. You can comment in the comments if you, if you want to. I'm just going to run you through what I know. Okay. Uh, so you have, I have four mechs in service. Uh, if you're familiar with mech games, you know that there are probably different chassis, light, mm -hmm. medium, heavy. Those have different amounts of hard points, which are places you can attach your weapons, right? So let's go in and check out one of these mechs. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Okay, here's the spreadsheet. So uh, each one of these boxes represents a different portion of my mech. Center torso, head, right torso, left mm -hmm. torso, right arm, left arm. Each one of these pieces, depending on the mech, can uh, hold different weapons. They have different hard points. Uh, ballistic weapons, laser weapons, missile weapons, uh, support weapons. I then have a bunch of weapons on the left-hand side. Right. I can then take those weapons and uh, equip a ballistic weapon onto a ballistic hard point. Right here, I have equipped one of one. Okay. All of this is gated by the tonnage of the mech. Light, medium, and heavy. Heavier mechs, heavier tonnage. Uh, so you cannot go over ton, mm -hmm. or over your overweight. Uh, you do not want to go out underweight. Right. So you want to get this to basically zero. You can fiddle with this in ways like uh, I've got this medium laser here. If I wanted to add uh, the l large laser, long range laser, you could see it's heavier. Right. I'm now over ton. So you have to remove something else. I could remove something else. I could also re fiddle with the armor. Uh, this uh, is front and this is rear armor. Right. I can try and like fiddle with the armor to get under tonnage. Feels I, like you want that armor though. Uh, you know, different situations will call for different things. I forget what this was at. I think I had a hundred. It was at a hundred. Uh, a couple of things that would make this easier. Um, being able to save this loadout so I can recall. So you can auto load it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can recall it would be very helpful. Also, you can look at what the stock robot or mech comes with. By clicking on this, hey, this is what this thing came stock when you got it. Being able to revert to this would right. also be very helpful. Otherwise, when you change armor and stuff like that, you then have to kind of roll over and be like, okay, it was 60 on the right arm. I'll put it back to 60. Oh, it was 75 on the... And then come back in here each time. Right. My memory's not that good, so I wind up having to do that uh, a lot. So anyway, uh, this is where you're going to spend a lot of your time kitting out your mechs. You can do some automation. Max armor, I believe, will try and distribute armor as much as possible uh, with varied results. Strip armor takes it all off. Mm -hmm. 
so you don't have to sit there and push the minus button on everything. So they have some shortcuts for this stuff, but some, maybe not not as many as you would like. I would like to save loadouts. Right. Uh, maybe it gets to the point where you have so many mechs that you just pull in the mech and you name this one like uh, Blackjack with la large laser. Right. But I haven't gotten to that point. I have barely survived. So I'm going to put this medium laser back on. Uh, it's pretty easy to drag and drop stuff. He has jump jets, uh, which let him jump. And that's this mech. And, okay. then, and then you have... Uh, I'm going to cancel. If I had changed anything, uh, let's, I'll show you here because this is kind of important. So anything you change um, over tonnage will let me do it. Let's just say I took this all off and I go to confirm. It's then going to give me a work order. And it's oh, going to okay. tell me, hey, doing that's going to take a day and cost you 500 uh, space bucks. Okay, so nothing can be done without a little bit of work put into and it. And time. So it's going to take this mech out of service. Right. So in a previous game I had, I as I was learning this stuff, I had all my mechs out of service and the bills were due. Oh. And I couldn't make any money. And I went bankrupt. And as soon as you go bankrupt, it is immediate game over. Oh, wow. Uh, no, no, sorry. No, hey. It is literally game over. That's rotten. Uh, so that was rough. Yeah. Uh, you can cancel mid work order, but it leaves your mechs in kind of a state of like, uh, don't have any weapons on it. Right. right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna revert this back. I don't think we've changed much, and no. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, th the game is pretty good about tool tips. Um, mostly everything you hover over will give you a tool tip, mm -hmm. and it's become very helpful. But just uh, just quickly here before we jump into more, I'm going to go show you what so a you light So you got light six mech. in this bay? I have six. Uh, two are under construction right yeah. now. They're getting repaired. Here are the work orders. You can see here's my financial report in five days. If I didn't have enough money to cover the bills, uh, I would go bankrupt right. in five days. But I, I should. Uh, also, these are the two mechs that are in uh, the garage. So here's a light mech. Uh, this JR7D. I'll go in here. Uh, you can see the tonnage is a lot lower. And, and it seems like it's more jet and laser focused than anything else. You know, that's kind of what it's set up to be. Again, it'll kind of give you the general thoughts. Like, hey, here's how you're kind of supposed to use this mech, which right. is very helpful. Uh, all of this stuff, again, the tooltips are pretty good. So you can hover over everything to see what you're supposed to do, which has been very helpful going through the game. So are you only bringing one of these no, into battle? Four. I can bring four. Okay. And and different people are piloting these mechs? Yes. Okay. D uh, yes. Is there like a pilot like system? Yes. Does it I'll oh, get okay. to that. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I just, was just so curious. This is basically the mech stuff. Okay. You pick up salvage from fights. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll, I'll show you in a second here that um, you can kind of negotiate, I want more money or I want more salvage. Mm. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it a loot game where I don't think any of this stuff is color coded for rarity. You will get stuff that has like plus plus next to it though. Okay. All right. So that's the mechs. That's, I mean, it's Battletech. Mechs are the big thing. Right. Uh, next up, you can go to the barracks and look at the mech warriors. Uh, trademark violation. <laughs> uh, these are the pilots I have. They can uh, they can be injured. Okay. Uh, they all have to go into sick bay. Jai so, Courtney looking motherfucker. Uh, so there's there's me. There's a Vincentivus Caravellium, which uh -huh. is my future name, uh, aka you can call me Penfold. All right. Okay. Uh, here are the uh, rest I of the people. You. There's Glitch. Good to go. uh, there's Miranda. Yep. Uh, Did you make Muhammad. these or just uh, no? Like these that? are I think at least two of these came with the game. And then okay. I was able to recruit somebody else. I okay. think. I think, if I remember correctly. So there is a tech tree where you spend XP, uh, gunnery piling, guts, and tactics. Again, you can kind of roll over these uh, and find out what they are. You got a lot of guts, pilot. I do. I'm a guts pilot. Uh, do uh, each of these have their own XP, or is it like yes, a pool? Okay. No, each of these have their own XP, okay. uh, from which you could then choose their upgrade. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Uh, mostly getting these. Uh, these bonuses here but really you want the perks that you get inside the mech mm -hmm. like sensor lock or um bulwark uh bulwark 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 uh which what? basically will it's a passive which lets you kind of take more hits right mm. uh there's like also general defense yeah there's also this is very good multi-targeting we'll see this in battle when we jump in lets you kind of multi-target mm -hmm. during otherwise you can only choose one target at a time uh and evasive movement again another passive so you kind of just want to get up to these they're very very helpful uh, so those are the, that's where your uh, mech pilots are. You can also look at the contracts here. I should have gone here later. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can go to the hiring hall, which is where you hire a mech pilot. So if you want more pilots, you can recruit them from here. 
certain pilots will have requirements like uh let's see if anybody here. Oh, uh, these guys look like they all come in. They're all generalists. Yeah. So they uh they will come in sometimes you need reputation hmm. to get certain people to come in. Uh but they have uh base salaries every month if you keep them on your staff. Right. So, so you, you have to you have to there's upkeep. There's upkeep and also you have to pay a one time fee, a hiring fee. Okay. Uh let's go look at the contracts. Uh, I mean, at least they get full salary. You know, I don't know what 30,000 space bucks is. Yeah, it's not that's nothing. Good. But you pay them based on experience. You can also decide when you're doing your financials if you want to pay them more for higher morale, pay them oh, less and you lower morale. Okay, so here are the contracts available. I've got uh, this half skull mission, which is a pretty easy mission, or I've got this big story mission here. Mm -hmm. uh, the missions are pretty long. I should probably just jump into the story one. Yeah, and it uh, doesn't seem like it's like super difficult at least. No, it's a one star, which means the mechs will be a little bit heavier, or, or I guess. Uh, but we should do it because right. otherwise this will be a three-hour quick look. <laughs> uh, so I'm probably going to jump into that. One last thing I will uh, show you here are the finances. Man, there are a lot of things to manage in yes. this game. Yeah. Uh, so you can kind of see your over-under, your P&L, if you will. Uh, uh, your kind of how much it costs to keep up your mechs uh how much it costs for salaries and then how much is due um at the end of the month so right now you're in the black i'm okay it's going to cost me come the end of the month here or when these are due 227,000. i've got 849. my first playthrough i was just burning cash i was right. like i'm making money and that's when i had all my mechs <laughs> in storage and it was a bad scene so you you have to manage that um you can also upgrade the ship and get uh, more uh, uh, storage bays. Mm. Uh, when you're in the, the mech bay, you can put mechs into cold storage, which will get rid of the upkeep costs on them. Okay. A lot of management going yeah. on here. I actually really like it. It's just, it's sorry, it's a lot to talk through in the, in the game here. Uh, there's the star map, which will let you uh, navigate different places. I believe we're in Space Detroit right now. But you can go uh, look for other contracts in other places. It takes time to get there. Let's play the game. So let's go to the contracts center. Take that story mission. Take our story mission. You ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Not a lot of money for this. Not a lot of salvage. I'll just show you before we leave in case this doesn't come back up. Different missions, different money, different salvage. Mm -hmm. Two of 10 means I get to pick out of a list two things I definitely want. And then they will out of 10 or they will give me random 10 things. Oh, interesting. Right? Okay. So when if I were to select this, I could negotiate it mm -hmm. and say, I think I can actually do this without. Uh, yeah, so I can say, no, you know what? I want to oh, wow. max two of ten, but just pay me less, or actually, you know what? Pay me more. I screw the salvage. Right. I've kind of been going for salvage because money's okay right now. Uh, or you can go right in the middle, or you can say, I'm really nice and get a lot of uh, mm. reputation. So let's get out of there. Ready to do this. Let's do it. So this is not even a negotiation. We're going to travel. We're going to burn a couple of days. Uh, it's going to take 17 days to get there. We'll probably see some stuff happen in between. All right. I'm hitting it. A letter phone. There's a lot to click through. Yeah. I like it so far. I really do. Like, for a game that it does seem relatively dense, I do like the presentation of it. I feel like even in those more spreadsheety uh -huh. menus, I feel like I kind of can see what's going on here. And this isn't even the combat yet, yeah. right? This is all the getting to the stuff. So this is the financial report. This is where I have to pay people. Um, I think we're okay. Pay we're the operating operating expenses. Um, you know, listen, I lost some money. Hopefully yeah. we'll get some money back. Uh, and this is where I can go and say, hmm, okay, listen, we're not doing too great. Uh, we need to do more with less. Mm -hmm. Or I can say, we're doing great. And everybody gets a little yeah. morale. Morale comes into a uh, battle. Uh, there are special things you can do if you have high morale. Right. But like we're high gonna, five a bunch? Yeah, or? mech high fives. It yeah. really scares the opponents. Have nicknames for each other. On uh huh. The team. Penfold. <laughs> uh, so you can pause the timeline and kind of do stuff if you want, or you just let it ride. We're just going to let it ride. Uh, we're going to get some people back. You can go in if you wanted to and manage the work orders mm -hmm. to be like, oh crap, high priority, get this mech up and running, not this mech, and shift that stuff around. All right. Like this is all just happening, like we're just traveling. Right, you're not even there yet. You know, it could be doing other stuff, but. It's a cool looking station. Yeah, the whole station goes. You dock on Okay, that's not a station oh, wow. then. If it moves, it's not a station. Uh, 
and then it's a travel point, but you have to usually you have to pay if you want to do that, unless right. a contract is paying for you to do it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they'll cover the cost of it. How much do you have to travel though? A decent amount. Wow. If, okay. if you want to pick up contracts from other places, you'll have to go there to do them. Uh, a lot of times, a contract will pay for you to be there. Okay. I kind of like that. Yeah, it's cool. Like yeah. I said, this is very this is very rich. All right, let's just do it. Yeah. Let's get in there. Take me to Mech Town. Okay, so I will say before we get in here, the VO, the voiceover stuff. Yeah, it's not the greatest. All right. But the presentation's nice. Uh, thank you for honoring my request. This, okay, so this came in through a side channel. I should say that. Unofficial. It's very shady. I don't know what's happening. I suspect something related to the coup. Okay. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember the, the Canopian family. Uh, this isn't a traditional contract. I don't need. And again, this kind of has the pyre style. Mm -hmm. Hey, just hover what over. What is this thing? Do you, oh, sure. do you want to know what all I'm these things are? I'm super into <laughs> games uh, adopting that. Uh huh. Uh, the question besides there's no reason for the reviewer. Okay, so she's saying, I just want you guys, uh, Commander Caravellium. And this is where, Abby, you get to kind of pick mm -hmm. how you want to respond. Uh, there we go. Let's just go kind of middle of the road here. It's relatively simple. I need you to recover something for me. I need it done quietly. I left my phone in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> could you send four <laughs> Max to retrieve it? embarrassing texts on <laughs> there. If really, you could, uh... if you can save the phone, that's great. Uh, in exchange for your services, I will pay down your interest on your... Okay, that's, hey, that does seem like a fair deal. And interest is killer. <laughs> Darius, we're over here, Darius. Darius. Look, Darius doesn't like make eye, making eye contact. I can respect that. He's shy. This... Uh, oh, is this what she wants? Yeah. Enormous grounded dropship. Uh, she's a derelict vessel in Argo 1. One of 200, 200 years ago. Got it. I want her. And you are going to bring it to me. Okay, well, you know what? We were, we're cool. Uh, he's read the very practical one. He does practical magic. You want to see a card trick? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about the government. <laughs> Shoot this gun at me. I'll catch it in my mouth. Desert uh, bus. <laughs> relax. Uh, I'm engineering staff on hand to the other other done. Okay. Find the jump ship. I'm waiting for you. Do 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 do. Going to work there. Like this should be within the capabilities. Going to this the wrong place. Okay. So this is a background that I picked. I like I said I was a frontier guy, mm -hmm. and so I get to pick a special response based on my background. Mm. Um, and let's pick it since it's a special one. Uh, she's wrong. We were looking for life. Yeah, yeah, we could do this. Mm, they're all kind of the same thing. Yeah, just different tones. Yeah. Uh, the stories of your. That, that was unnecessary. Yeah, come on. Rude. <laughs> that, was, that was rude. So you're the shady one going outside the uh, thing. Yeah, you're just a hologram, you lady. <laughs> uh, all right. I am ready. I think we're ready. All right. I've saved it before. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to jump in here. Let's play the game. It might, it might not go. Hey, th this is like a lot of the game, mm -hmm. but let's go to the part where I can really lose. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's do it. So I guess that would be, is that in the contract now? You want to just hit play? No, that would move the timeline forward. Oh, interesting. So I think we're actually, yeah, we're going to do this whole thing. Now, is there a way to skip all this rigmarole? I don't think so, because I think you, you're, the time has to progress right, forward. Right, stuff has to happen yeah. okay. in the simulation engine. Yeah, so like we have to, which is good, because I'll get my <laughs> commando back. But like this, for instance, like this cutscene we just saw. Um, I, I look like I can hit escape. Okay, just curious. Get through it. But I paused it. Uh, and stuff like this will pop up. Mm -hmm. uh, banging noise draw you to the Mech Warrior Barracks where you find Medusa. Are these, uh, okay. Uh, one of the material there are already several parts. Pause and explains there are a few cubic meters of dead space back here. I'm making rooms. <laughs> okay. Uh,. Medusa can make the change easily, easily reversible, looks like. Okay. Uh, you know, okay. 
All right, so yeah, you did it, and morale went up. Good job, Medusa. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Thanks. Wow, we're gonna be here for uh, for a little while. Oh, you're paused right now. Yeah. Uh, it didn't seem like I can skip that one. Okay. Okay, skip this. Just curious. No. It might be loads. The load times in this are a bit vicious. Oh, really? Yeah. This might be masking some of that. Okay. Yeah, they've gotten better. I think as yeah. they, they've patched or, I don't know, caching on my heart. I have no idea, but the load times in this have been like, wow. It's definitely like a, all right. I guess I'm going to go get some coffee. this up, get some water. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they do have, that has seemed to be something they've been working on. Gotcha. I've also read that they've been trying to streamline progress in this mm -hmm. a bit to make things mm. move a little faster. Ready to go over financials. Yeah, how long would you say? Oh boy, like I'm just hemorrhaging money. Okay, listen, I've got a save state. I'm fine. I <laughs> like this game. I want to keep playing it from my save. Yeah. I don't want to have to do this again for the third time. So I do have a, you can hard save and I do have a hard oh, okay. save. Um, yes. How, like, I know you haven't finished it, but how long do you think this game is? Uh, Amazingly no long. Oh, really? Yeah. If I had to guess. Oh boy. Uh, I feel like I've been playing it for three weeks and haven't like. <laughs> you have. You have actually been playing it for like uh, two and a half. I, I I bet it's very very long. I know Austin's put about fifty hours into oh. it. Oh wow! And he hasn't finished. Uh, he says he's actually nearing the end game. Okay. So maybe that's not that long for an RPG. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Uh, best way to use the pirate point to get us here. You should get your staff some chairs so nah. they don't have to sit on everything. Yeah. It just looks cooler it's that cool. way. Yeah, you're right. We yeah. are mercenaries. <laughs> well, that's that way. No, we have a job to do. We don't have to keep discussing it. Perhaps we're sorry. getting as close as we need. This must be scary. With the fine light mech activity, we're okay. The pirates have vehicles and turrets. Got it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. If I were playing on my own, I'd probably go through it. There's a lot of textures you can go out on your own to talk to people. Uh, a lot of clicking through text mm. and reading. Uh, a lot of flavor. Okay, it's good enough for me. <laughs> a bunch of money. Point me in the direction to shoot stuff. All right, here we go. It begins. So I've got my max. I've got my pilots. Uh, looks Medusa, like Medusa needs a mech. Medusa needs a mech. Uh, these numbers, I believe, are mech ratings. Uh, in like the isn't of, isn't the that the tonnage? Uh, maybe it is the. Tonnage. I think that's the tonnage. The, maybe it is. You're right. There are battle tech ratings for mechs. But yes, okay. Here you can sort. I don't have any. Um, sorry, I just turned them all off. I don't have any heavies. Hmm. Or assault mechs. Well, you do, but they're already in there. Uh, I think they're all medium. Are they? Because there's like above fifty-five. I think, right? I think they're all. Medium. Yeah, no heavies. Yeah. You're right. Uh, anyway, you can assign different pilots to different mechs. Right. Uh, and it's, you know, it's a thing that's important to do when. Oh boy, that difficulty looks like it went up. Uh, it's important to do when you have different abilities on the pilots associated with the different right so, so are some people better suited for it yeah uh, yeah or i just like, I it's think a so strategy thing like if you have multi-target on a mech that has like a lot of different ranged right. weapons you might it might, might be work better. very very good listen there's a lot of different play mm -hmm. style here yeah of, it seems like it i like not me but i've <laughs> talked to people who said i like using light mechs to be like get in there and be punchy and i'm mm -hmm. like light mechs blow up a lot on me i like using them very far away with sniper cannons fortunately you can usually only put one long range weapon on a light mech because it's very mm -hmm. heavy if your mech did blow up, would your person, would your pilot die? Is it like so I think that's they, just done for, or is it like you have some grace kind of? I think so. I haven't played enough to see the pilots actually die, but they do go down and out for a. You can okay, lose them so in they the get battle. Injured. Yeah, once the mech is, once the pilot takes a certain amount of injuries, which each pilot has different ones, they'll go down for the battle, hmm. and then um, they'll take forever. To heal up. Is like, it just that like one? Two hundred days. Oh, jeez! Wow. As, lo as long as one survives at the end, does yes. it, do you still su Unless succeed? Unless there's like a, a victory condition. Okay. Uh, here's some of that load time I was talking about. Yeah, no, they are definitely uh, prepping something here. Uh, let's begin it. Like I said, I think it's actually better than it was. Command interface initiated. All right. Axillus. Grim Sybil is a really <laughs> bad name for a pirate crew. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sybil Shepherd. <laughs> okay. Are we on a moon? 
It looks like it. At the very least, a planet with minimal atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Pirates radar stations are down. It'll be clear. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> destroy radar tower Bravo. Destroy radar tower, tower Alpha. All right. Let's so assume it's those towers, right? Yeah. I assume it's these, yes. So let's get our people over there. So uh, each mech Ready for orders. Uh, has a tor turn order, but outside of combat, we don't have to worry about that. Right. You can kind of do whatever you want. So we can kind of sprint. Once you click once, you then uh, double click again, and this is the radius in, or the pie in which your mech is facing, your code hmm. of vision. Uh -huh. So if something shows up in there, it, it's more prepped to fight it? Or? No, it's... Oh, boy. Uh, it's literally where they're facing and what, okay. what they can target and see. Um, so we're going to sprint everybody up here. Roger that. Are you generally fighting other mechs? Uh, mechs, tanks, turrets. Okay. <laughs> anything that shoots back. But mechanical stuff, not like aliens or anything. No, no. We are the aliens. No muttons? No muttons. No. No, no flying muttons. Is this basically XCOM? No. Okay. If, no, and if you play it like that, you will do very poorly. Uh, fair enough. Um, You're inspired. Yeah, thanks. So where did... Okay, so turrets? Yeah. Okay, turrets. So this means that we've sensed them. I don't, The red means I don't have a lock on them. Or right. I can't see them. Uh, here we go in the turn order. Five, four, three, two, one. Each mech gets a certain um, initiative, mm -hmm. which means like a turn. You can reserve them to skip it. And mm -hmm. stack them all into one turn if you want. Uh, it does come in handy when you're trying to get guys to move and then move again at the ne in the next round or something like that. Well, let's start this battle. So you have uh, your options down here. Oh, it's not her turn. Sorry, it's only his turn. Light max, faster, yes, higher initiative. Uh, and let's see if we can kind of get a bead on this. When you're moving, you see the dotted lines. That mm -hmm. means I have line of sight, but I mm. don't think I have range on them. Well, the bottom turned red. Yeah, that here I would have line. I think that is I can hit them. Uh, I don't know if it tells you if they can hit you. Okay. I think again. Listen, I don't. I don't you're know still you're think. still sussing some of this out. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. The other thing too, you'll see uh, this cone now uh -huh. has different gradations in it. Uh, this is darker this area than this darker or yeah. lighter, depending on what you want to. <laughs> more opaque it seems like. Uh, that means that this is the optimal range for the weapons I have selected on my mech. Oh. So uh. all of these are medium lasers. If I turn these off, uh, well, this is a terrible mech to, to see that <laughs> with. Uh, they're all about the same range, which is probably all medium. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you in a second. But let's get here. You know what? I'm going to reserve him. I don't want this guy going up there. Those things are just going to tear him apart. So I've reserved Medusa, which means he has skipped his turn and mm -hmm. pushed him into the next. Uh, initiative here. Let's get the, the big old mech up here. Okay. It's way different uh, yeah. opaque area, right? Yes. Much longer range. So this is a very long range weapon, and so is this. So if we turn those off, you can see that area mm -hmm. has come down yeah. a lot now. Very helpful in planning where you want to put your mech. Wow, there's so much to this. There's a, there's a lot. Um, LRM, long range missile. SRM, short range missile. Uh, good to know. And you hover over stuff, it'll tell you range range very long, uh, range extreme. So I'm going to go here. This should hopefully get me a you shot. No one else is saying this. Wake up, you idiots. We've got company. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess We've the, got <laughs> acting. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can't fight again. All right, so uh, Glitch has the multi-target ability, which is great. Get out there and fight. <laughs> okay. <So okay. laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> uh, so you can click multi-target and then select one, two, and then select which weapons here. You see this is target A, this is target B. Oh, man. I can then select, okay, I want my short range missiles to try target B. I have an 85% chance to hit them. I want uh, these long range missiles to also hit B. This missile will do, I'll launch eight missiles Oh, I'm sorry, they'll do eight damage with two missiles, uh, four damage with five times five. Each missile will do four okay. damage. Okay. So 20 damage total, 16 damage total. Important to note, this is kind of important, it might seem granular, but each missile has an 85% chance to hit. Okay. Which so is, there's a chance that one could miss or two could miss. Yeah, or yeah. a hit. 
right? Right. If you have like 50%, it's 50% for each missile. Okay. okay. Which is not, it's good if you're looking yeah. to do certain things. All right. So we're going to do this half on here and half on here. Uh, let's give it a shot. Here's the armor, 90 armor, but once the armor is penetrated, it's only seven damage for mm. the core systems. Okay. Uh, and you can see the damage here. So I'm probably not going to punch through uh, armor on any of these guys, but I'm going to get about halfway through. Unlike XCOM, you cannot move, jump to somebody else, move, jump to somebody else, move. You have to do both actions with each okay. character. So I can't move somebody else into position right now. Oh, okay. I have to finish this turn. There we go. So it didn't punch through the armor. But you got real didn't close. I would. Uh, here come the missiles. Hit, 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 hit. Bunch of hits. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So now it's uh, Behemoth's turn. So Behemoth won't have a multi-target thing. I'm going to have to hit one of them with her. Okay. Yeah. How was the tutorial system when you first started doing this? There, there was still a lot of stuff I did not know by the okay. end of it. Um, okay. So you can see even behind here, she's got these arcing red lines. Yeah. Uh, since somebody can see them, she has missiles that can fire oh, up and yeah, land. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Uh, so we could probably take out, again, we'll see what the optimum range is if we're just using the missiles. That seems pretty good. You can also, in this mode, click or hover over a target. You can see 80% chance to hit, 80% oh, chance wow, to okay. hit. Um, so let's try that. Let's do that. You could also use two of your turns to sprint. All right, here we go. We're gonna launch these missiles. So you can turn off, okay, two other huge systems okay. I did not go into. Heat, which is gonna go up here. Uh huh. Everything you do for the most part generates heat. You see this, uh, you'll see after I fire these, plus six heat. Uh huh. I, I cannot overheat, you see this tick here? If I yes. start overheating, my mech's gonna start shutting down, I'm gonna take damage. So you have to manage your heat. Okay. Things like So that's why you don't just like spam every weapon every time. There's that and also ammo, ammo considerations. You see these missiles have ammo. Yeah. Uh, but yes, if you have a low percentage to hit, you might want to turn it off. But things like running through water or this planet might uh, have a lot of atmosphere. It might be cold. Uh, zero atmosphere means you'll retain heat because there's nothing to vent into. Uh, nothing can disperse the heat. So in a vacuum of space, you'll actually overheat faster. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a, one big mechanic. I'm going to fire these. Firing. The other one that I didn't go into yet is evasion. Oh, uh, yeah, it didn't do too much, but it's okay. Uh, so evasion pips. You see these pips next to the, mm -hmm. the chevrons? As you run, imagine that everybody's trying to lock onto you, right? To fire at you. So as you move, you actually generate, it's harder for them to hit you. You generate evasion points. Right. Uh, so if you stand still, you uh. lose those. But as you move around, it, they, you become harder to hit. So you don't want kind of don't want to stand still too long. You want to have as many of these pips on your mech as possible. And you, and you get those from running around. All right, let's keep moving here. Penfold's turn. Uh, can't get up there, really, but I do have jump jets, uh, which could get me here. Not gonna get me anywhere to target anything. So let's get here for now. We'll face this way. Jump jets. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Sup. <laughs> uh, and we're just gonna brace, which is basically hunker down. Right. right. All right, now this is my light mech, which I really don't want to kind of leave out there in the <laughs> in the wilderness. But what I can do is reserve that turn to move it to the next spot. Roger that. Standing. Roger, by. Dodger. Oh, looks like are they not going to shoot at me yet? There we go. Here it comes. So I have some evasion points, uh -oh. and so you'll lose them as they as yeah. you oh, take fire. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, that was the jump, dude. No, that was, that the, was the, the bulwark uh, one, yeah. So here comes the vehicle. vehicle incoming. Uh, the other thing to note is there probably are uh, generators for... Oh, okay. Yeah, they're hitting more as I've lost my evasion points. But it's big mech. Mechs take damage. Uh, there probably are generators for the turrets. Mm -hmm. If I take those down, the turrets will go down. Okay. Uh, you know, but if you destroy the turrets, also that would work. Also, those would work. Uh, you know, it's a decent amount going on here. So now I've got this mech which I've reserved, uh, and once I move this mech, 
he'll probably get another turn immediately because okay because he's at the bottom of the order now oh, he'll be at the top gotcha. of the order next time so i might be able to get in there shoot and then immediately be able to run him back oh, okay. without taking too too much without leaving him too too much in the open uh i can try and try and get out there and get to this uh generator uh, it's just like you're getting a red line there oh mm, yep that'll do there it there we go yeah yolo do it it's not really mm. nothing lifting off yeah it's not great but this is where i want him anyway so this jump ability is that sort of like does it have a cooldown? nope or? uh you'll generate heat oh gotcha uh sensor lock is an ability that will take um evasion pips off of people okay it's, i mostly use it for that again most of the things have pretty good tool tips these two abilities here are tied to the morale system, uh, which uh, I'm not going to use just yet. But I don't think I really have a. Uh, actually, that's not bad. That'll do something. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I copy. Yeah, fuck it up. Nice. Oh, yeah. you did it. Hell oh, yeah. wow. Cool. Good work. Good job, little guy. I could do this all day. <laughs> yeah, well, listen, you're usually the first one to die, so let's, <laughs> let's maybe not get too cocky. Uh, well, those turrets didn't go down. Those must have been different turrets. Yeah, it must be on a different... Nice try. Everybody's really wow. cocky. Maybe not to their benefit. <laughs> uh, so you can see uh, they were they had one in this turn order here. But okay, yeah, one of those turrets is gone. Yeah, okay, well. That's something. But we're right back on this this Good to go. person again, and I believe... Jumpy. Yeah, is there another turret? There? Oh, it's just that tower, yeah. So we can jump. I'm just going to run them up. Mm-hmm. And you see the difference between this spot, the three chevrons there underneath it, and this Your spot. Your heat oh. looks like it's kind of getting up there on that one. Yeah, so if I stand still, if I don't do anything, uh, that blinky part will reduce. Okay. If I don't use the jump jets. If I use the jump jets, you see... It'll mm, go up. Don't it'll, you'll do overheat. That. Yeah, I'm gaining a lot of heat. So I'm just going to run, uh, and I'm going to get that extra pip, and I think I can take this turret down pretty easily. Cool. Yeah, 80% chance. Roger. Uh, I do have that tank that is rolling up. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, these battles take a while. Yeah. Uh, there's this this guy here. There's at least another one behind him, too. Uh, but I, I think I can uh, get my other mechs up there. So we're going to fire on this guy. Uh, we probably don't need all of this. Uh, you see, I'm going to blow it <laughs> yeah. real bad here. I don't even know if uh, missiles, I don't think, generate too much heat. Okay, so I'll reduce heat a bit. I could put this back on and just squeak by, and I'm going to do that. Confirm. Nice. Cool. Target destroyed. All right, now this guy's going to blow up. Oh boy. Okay. So if you just get the towers and don't worry about these other dudes. Could you just leave immediately, or do you also have to kind of sweep the area? Uh, it, so far, it says I, it wants me to just destroy the towers. It could be a thing after they destroy them. It's like clear out remaining forces. Right. Well, at some point, you're probably going to have to. I mean, you're trying to get to that ship, right? Yeah, and defend it. So yeah. uh, looks like I will have a shot here. Yeah, on my long range stuff. So let's move up here. And uh, if I turn these off, it'll probably show that this is a more ideal hmm. range for this. So. Uh, if there's stuff like that, you see sort of the mountains in front of it, mm -hmm. will that block your line of sight? There is some line of sight blocking, yeah. Okay. Uh, this seems to be able to make it through here. These are these are just guns. I, it seems weird that it, I can see this. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess it's a very tall tower. Okay, so sure. Let's assume I'm shooting over shooting it. Shooting through a window. Yeah. Uh, let's fire. Engaging yeah, I'm shooting the top of it. Oh, man. Not the most damage, but this fine. Tanks, usually not so bad. Mm -hmm. You could stomp on They're them, too. They're pretty small. There is melee stuff, which is pretty effective. Uh, who's up? Behemoth, I think. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to all get up to the top of here and take some shots. She's got some hmm. damage stuff, too. Is she the one with the multi-targeting? No, Glitch, okay. Glitch has multi-target. <laughs> I like that he turned and was like, who's that? <laughs> All right, let's fire. We want to turn this back on. Target acquired. Sick weapon. Nice. I think I think visually, I don't think this is the most outstanding looking game, but I like what it's doing. There's a satisfaction to watching stuff yes. blow up and like missiles fly Waiting out. For 
Reporting. So Glitch is the one that has the multi-target, so I'm going to try and get her in range to take on these These tanks. tanks. All right. Does she have a shot on them? Okay, it looks like we do. So let's try multi-targeting. Uh, how much? Okay, so this one I don't think I can. No, mm -hmm. no. but that right. one off to the left. Right. Can you get the tower too? Mm. It looks like it's pointing at it. I don't know if I can. I think you got a red line yeah, it there. Look like I have a red line. Weird. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's your two targets. Neat. All right. I. Yeah, okay, so some of these can't reach it. Alright. Mm, I should probably concentrate on that, but whatever. You get a headshot, and you get a headshot! She's sassy. It's good to know that Oprah has survived <laughs> into the future. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have wasted those missiles. Whatever. Damned radar cover. You'd better get those LRMs online now, or you can learn what a belly full of laser fire feels like. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you ever work for this person? <laughs> like, on top of being an asshole, she's just so corny. <laughs> Whatever, I just told them they'd get headshots. Just tit for tat. Fair. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna have to take it a little bit here. It's a good beep sound. I don't know, that guy seems to be bailing. He's just like, nope! Uh, so far, no other mechs, though. Oh. Move a lot. Oh boy. So far, so good. Yeah, your armor seems to be holding up yeah. pretty well. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's right that's, to the knees. That's a lot. Okay, so this is my stability. If uh, I can fall over. Oh right. wow, that's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, missiles make you kind of rock and fall over a little bit. All right. Yeah, uh, honestly, the design of like a two-footed robot seems a little um, unsteady. Yeah. Yeah, but they look so cool. They are very cool, <laughs> but yeah, you're not wrong. All right, I'm gonna reserve uh, Medusa here because uh, I don't want to put him out. Oh man, a lot of missiles coming in. I really want to get these guys in the heart of battle. So let's start with let's start with glitch. What can I do for you? Let's. Oh, are those turrets. What's this? Yeah, it's a turret, oh, it's a turret generator. generator. Okay, and I'm, the tower. So there aren't actually any turrets. I over bet here. that generator was for the one that we are. The one over here. Yeah. yeah, probably. But all I have to do is get this other tower. Uh, but I do want to get these fools. I wonder if I jump in there. Can I make it? Mm. Get in there. Yeah, there, there, there. Yeah. Can I run? Oops, sorry. Can I run to that spot? Yeah. All right, that'll hit with something. Oh yeah. Sweet spot. Oh, I jumped. Okay. It was a cool jump. Yeah, it's neat. Let's see. I should probably... F Let's focus on taking this person out and we'll f worry about the tower later. Do you still want to multi-target them? It doesn't matter. Like, if you're just doing one, oh, okay. all multi-target lets you do is is side different stuff. But, yeah. Um, okay. And we're good on heat. Or at least oh, that go around. Go. Okay. Nice. Well, that was a huge waste of... <laughs> maybe a bit overkill. Uh... I Bye -bye. need to always remind myself to look at their damage and uh, kind of you kind of have to do some back of the napkin math on like all right this is supposed to do twenty right have this much armor if I punch through the armor here all right let's get uh, behemoth uh, you can take out this tower hell yeah got it uh, so there are other things you can do that will reduce the unsteadiness that will uh, brace you that these are those morale things there are two of them that are like you can target the head or a limb or mm -hmm. an arm mostly for mechs and this will kind of reduce the um, damage you take mm. and it costs morale points which is this meter here and as you use them um, it'll like 50% of your morale will, will go away or is whatever. that like a forever thing or is it just as the just end of this battle yeah well this will go back up as you do stuff okay all right let's target this pretty far away but we can do some damage it's got 150 we'll hopefully do uh what is that four times five twenty so 70 total let's see how we pretty do. good let's see we hit everything okay that was a huge miss but you did do the, some damage the missiles okay that's something yeah huge miss on the big weapon though fired mm -hmm. uh i do need to start hitting people or they're gonna really hurt me on the next battle Oh, no, well, I guess we're not doing it here. 
Yeah, the thing is, they're pretty far away. The yeah. only one that is maybe getting close to that one on the far right that's kind of coming around that building. Oh, yeah. Uh, once we get close enough to it, I'm going to start stepping over. Cool. Reasonable. There's a turret. Okay. So if we get this generator down, hopefully it'll take that turret down. Let's attack this. Yeah. Oh, Penfold. <laughs> you idiot. You idiot. That illusion was dumb. <sighs> Alright, well, I don't want to get it within range of that thing. Oh, I don't want you to die. Let's reserve his move until um, until these guys fire. Reserving action. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, little, that was what I was saying. <laughs> this little friend. No! Didn't really do much of anything. Anyway, he's running out of uh, heat, so he probably has to take a break anyway. All right. Let's see. We could see if we Commander. can move. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Let's move and and rest. See, I can't turn around. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Because I'm running. So they'd be like, if they come around, that your back armor would take that shot. Yeah. Oh wow. If okay. I if I moved like here, maybe. No. If I, oh yeah, no. You here, here I can turn around because I'll walk. I'll kind of back up. Right. Oh, interesting. Uh, but if I generate that pip of evasion, uh, I'm going to be facing the wrong way. But it, I just want to get the hell out away from that. Do guy. it. In fact, can I jump? Would that like, cause yeah, heat? I'm going to lose a lot too yeah, much. Yeah, I think you should. All right, let's just move out of here. Uh, as far away as we can. This will kind of be... No, there's not really a great spot, so let's just move here. And uh, I can then brace. All right. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Okay, and that is... Oh, it's a turret. That's a... Oh. That's what's getting me. Your armor seems to be holding up pretty well yeah. against this stuff, though. Yeah, so far so good. It's really the mechs you kind of have to worry about. The way those pirates were reacting to you having mechs makes me think maybe they don't have mechs. Uh, there will definitely be a mech in this mission. Okay. Absolutely. without Like the doubt. angry pirate lady might have a mech? Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right, let's destroy this tower. I hear ya. Let's get in there. Ooh, so wow, yeah, mechs. look at yeah, that. Do all the damage. So where's the turret generator? There? Yeah, uh, if you stand oh boy. a little bit to like the right, over, you can get yeah. it. What's my ideal range here? Mm. I don't think you'll get it there, but there was a thing that had the little Yeah, one around. one notch over, I felt like you could get it. Yeah. What can I do for you? Yeah, there yeah you that's go. the one. But look at that. I'm right in the juice. Yeah. Uh, you are, but I mean if you get everyone kinda in the juice, you might be able to take some of this stuff out, like, on this turn. Take that, that turret's really doing the business. Yeah. All right, let's try and take this turret out. Good luck, glitch. Thanks. Yeah, this is gonna overheat in a hot second. All right. 90. I think if we hit with everything, we should blow this turret up. Is it easier to hit the generator? I think the generator will probably have more 100. 100. Mm, okay. Also, we don't know if it's guaranteed for that turret. Oh, it looks like it's the other turret. Other turret over here, too. Oh, jeez. That might be another. You know what? So, let's see. This will be 60 at 70 plus 16, 86. Oh, if we hit with everything, I think we blow it up. You say you want to hit the generator? I'm hitting the generator. Yes. Roger that. Firing on target. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I was it took a little second there for the, for the animation. Uh, so did that I turn think it took out? that other turn it oh, down. Sweet. Is this thing? That thing's still going. Why would that still go? I don't know. But you did take that other one down. All right. Oh. Receiving you. Everybody's getting in there now. Yeah. Go get that turret. On. No sense in waiting. Uh. On my way. I want to see him stop these tanks. Yeah, me too. Uh, let's. Is this guy active? 
Uh, Hit him. Yeah, it's not going to do as much as I want. Do you want to just focus on the tower then? Uh, that's the little good. tankies. The tanks felt like they went down pretty quick. Yeah. That tower's going to fuck me up. I do need to get this thing down. Uh, nah. On it. It's something. Yeah. Somebody else might be able to get it on their next turn. Penfold. At least that other one won't bother you. Uh, Penfold's heat is great, so maybe we can get Penfold like. Oh yeah. Up right up in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here comes Penfold. <laughs> Crikey. That's you. You're Penfold, right? Uh -huh. All right. Or, or. Get that turret. See, I, I wish I had multi-targeting here. Yeah. But I think we need to take this turn. I agree. Don't miss. Nice. Yay! All right, now I got the uh, last one here. Maybe you can sneak around. Mm, you have nothing, huh? Oh yeah, if we jump here, we'll be getting a little in the danger zone of heat, but we'll get in the action. Oh, no, I thought you had, it can see it, but you can't hit it. Okay, yeah. well rest. Rest yourself. Alright, we'll just take some tank hits. Nothing, ain't nothing. Nothing. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I said. Know my crew. That's what Cracky Squad knows. Yeah, this guy just getting right up on there. I ain't afraid of no mech. I'm gonna. So you can also jump and land on things. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's some bad things to your mech sometimes. Mm -hmm. Also makes you fall down. Uh, but it does a lot of damage. Look at Striker thinking he's gonna. Oh, Striker. Missed. Yeah, that was not a lot. Is my turn? My turn yet? My turn? All right. Yeah, Penfold. Receiving you. You get in there, start fucking shit up. Yeah. Coordinates received. Or Medusa, sorry. Yeah. Not Penfold. All right. Yes. Uh, heat's good? Yes. Looks well, like it. Heat's good? Uh, yeah, it's, it's that's pushing so good. it. It's still good. That's too it's much. Good. Uh. Mm. Mm. good luck. Good hits. Gonna need to give him a minute. <laughs> Get over here. All right, you ready to stomp ah. on some mechs? Hell yeah, oh, or some man. tanks. Okay, so uh, you can see she took a injury. Yeah. Mm. Uh, she If she takes two more, she will go down. So why did she get injured? Uh, the thing got a headshot on her and must have punched uh. right through the armor. Commander? So if you just walk her over there, she can just stomp on those things? I'm going to try it, yeah. See that now I got these like little boxes? Mm -hmm. Smash this one. Smashy, smashy. Anybody else over there? Yeah, smash it. Uh, there's my my melee damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Five there. Which I might be doing more. I just like smashing them. No, that's fair. Coordinates received. It looks cool. That's a vehicle kill. Uh huh. And it also reduces a lot of heat. Nice. Uh, let's go here. Smash, smash. Gaging. Who Eat has it. the multi-targeting? Uh, glitch had it. Hmm. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. I did it. And old penfold. Man. Stopped them all. Uh huh. 
Oh, there's one more. There's that one that's coming around <laughs> oh, the yeah, other side. Oh, yeah, Striker. Yeah. He's going to be real bummed out when he <laughs> sees what's been happening over here. <laughs> Enemy unit destroyed. All right. And we'll destroy this tower and see what it kind of puts up in front of us. If it's a mech, maybe we'll play around with that for a bit. If not, I think we'll maybe call it. All right. My turn. Ready for orders. Oh, your heat. You're killing me. Just. Yeah. Yeah. Just. Just chill out. Just generate evasion points and then chill. Although, is that going to overheat him? So no. Blinking no. no, it'll go down. It's going to go down. Yeah, the blinking is how much it goes down. But you see the orange blinking on his line? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's, that's no, how no, it's no, how no, much. No, 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 no. On his, the walking line, they have the three orange dots there. What is oh, that? Oh, that? Uh, I think it's rough terrain. Oh, okay. I think it means um, you can't go as far. Okay. Oh, 150 stability damage. So if I'm standing in it. It's uh, not good. Mm. It's not good, but. Whatever. It'd be great if he just trips. <laughs> <laughs> Falls over like like Ed 209. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Gotta vent out a little bit. Good to go. Can you reach this person? Because I don't I just want to blow this up. Yeah, just blow it up. I'm gonna blow it up. Uh we don't need to move that close. I think we can just attack it. Waiting for orders. No, no gotta move range. a little closer. Huh. Sure. Beep boop beep. Robot. <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, yeah. You know what? You don't even need most of that stuff. This is a chill. Affirmative. Nice. Alright, then it's gonna say. Probably. Crash site, secure the area. I'm getting out into my mech! <laughs> Belly full of mech! Uh, striker still on the scene. There is the crash site. Let's, uh, let's head there. Standing by. So since this guy's still here, should we just destroy this thing? Yeah, might as well. This. Yeah, might as well. Uh... Oh. Bummer. You know what? Then you're just going. Uh, we can sprint, which will take two turns, but let you move faster. Nice. Going full speed. Yeah, I mean, you can just outrun that dude at this yeah. point. Yeah, I might just take him out with the little guy once he gets his uh, heat back. Can he get in there and get a good shot? Mm. Nope. I'm going to come up here. Nope. I'm going to come up here. Nope. Okay, let's just sprint. Okay. Beep, beep. Did you make that logo? Uh, I did not. I picked it. Okay. I didn't make it. Yes, Commander. Okay. You can do the business, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's got this. Will you be able to see them from there? Hopefully yeah, I have a line. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. How's our heat? Uh, uh, not ideal. Yeah. Engaging target. Hi. Oh, you're strong. Wow. Yeah. Not that strong, though. One more turn should do it. Commander? Oh, she can hit him. For, I'm going to help him out a little bit because she can hit him with the, the missiles. Let's see what the range on it is. Because eventually you have to get all four of the units into the crash site, right? Uh, it might trigger on, on one unit. I'm not sure. Well, the the secure the, the objective there says with zero of four. So I assume you okay. have to get all four in yeah, there. Okay. Let's see what the range wants to be on this. Uh, move right here. That seems good. Got it. Uh, there are some camera options, I think, that'll be like, hey, do you want to uh, not show animations for some of this stuff in right. battle and, and flick around? Uh I have it set to the default. Let's fire this these long rangers. Right, Commander. Mm. Wow, that didn't, mm. that didn't Very do anything. Mm. Mm. Good to go. All right. Oh, are you going to have to jump the wall? Maybe you have to blow something up. How the hell are we getting in there? Uh, I, it seems like this is where they want to funnel you, though. Definitely. 
sir. Oh, sir. I mean, I don't see another right. Go to the right. Is that, Is a, that a door? That looks like a door there. Yeah. All right, let's, I might be able to jump. Eventually, jump it, but let's let's check it out with her. Okay. That'll be fun. Acknowledged. We <laughs> clunk. Uh, and hang out. And he can you can make your way to the door. I'm sure, everything will be fine. Yeah, no chance of anyone else showing up or no. any other problems. No. They've clearly just given up. Striker's turn. Aha! Yeah, okay. Good work, idiot. <laughs> okay. Orders. All right. In uh, my head, in my head cannon, this is Ted Striker before airplane. This is this is the the air raid or the the strike that went terrible for him <laughs> oh, before airplane sure. happens. All right. Well, speaking of going ter terribly. <laughs> Let's just do it, right? Yeah. Never get over Macho Grande. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks for that guy. Enemy Elaine. Destroyed. You should have known. All right. Uh, let's get everybody going. On my way. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> Unnecessary, but awesome. <laughs> You know, I mean, could, that's a lot of thing. A lot of mech stuff is unnecessary, <laughs> but awesome. Uh, brace for impact. Sprint here. Nice. And then you just start it, working the crew up. Yeah, you can kind of see we're out of turn order again, and it, it's just kind of defaulting me to sprinting because all the enemies are dead. Right. Doesn't necessarily take all your heat back down, which you know, kind of stinks. Yeah, but I mean, so long as you're not using your weapons or jumping, you should be fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's get one in there. Yay. Brace. Uh, yeah. Look that way. You can jump, too. It's okay. It's okay. Copy that. Okay, brace. Run it in. Copy that. Oh, you can just kind of hang out. Yeah. Stabilizing. Engaging cooling system. It will be good. Engaging <coughs> okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm sure it'll just end. Perfect mission. Crash side secure. Two steps ahead of you. Watch yourself, Commander. I'm coming in hot. My ship. They landed on the wrong side. Yeah. Oops. Great. Uh. Everybody hang, hang out? For now, I guess. Taking the leopard to a safe distance from the pirates and get their guns ringing again. Uh, okay, so they're gonna probably send um, Good for now. Cooling down a bit. the folks after me, and I think we'll kind of wrap it up there. Oh, here they come. Here come the mechs. Mechs are a lot harder. Commander. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that sounded like you doing a fake mech pilot voice. <laughs> Whatever, that's my real, uh, <laughs> my real mech. He got really hurt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, th these are where the battles get pretty tough. Hairy. Yeah, pretty hairy. They don't seem super strong, though, these these mechs. No, they won't be. And you can see the armor is not so great. Some of them are in bad shape. These mechs are old. Uh, so let's get in there and just start fighting. No country for old mechs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but there are a lot of them, and I assume there'll be one big one at some point. Uh, so now I can do things like uh, Precision Strike, which takes the uses some of my morale. And then I can target uh, if I want to try and hit somebody in a particular place, like in the legs. And I have a hmm. I have a eighty percent chance to hit the mech, 
but I only have a. I'm gonna go over with that. Yeah, you're, uh, you gotta watch the heat. But I have an 18 percent chance to hit the legs or whatever. Or I want to hit. Uh, 29 percent there. Yeah, I could try and hobble it. Let's try it. Is it worth it? Uh, sometimes. That yeah. seems to have done the job. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That mech sucked. <laughs> uh, so now that mech will be down, and uh, now anybody who takes a shot on it gets a called shot and can target it. Oh, I've got this mech. Oh, shit. He kind of missed. Yeah, but he's penetrated some of my armor, so oh. which means my pilot's taking damage. Well, you just got to take these guys out then. That's true. Uh, I'll do maybe like one more round here and then maybe call it. Because th th that is basically the loop now. Now that we've got the mechs in on it. Uh, well, you'll miss the fun part of me being like, crap, I, all my mechs are injured. I suck at this game. I'm <laughs> bankrupt. How did I get into this position? Should I just reload my save? Good to go. Oh, boy. I'm very far away. Ugh. You got targeting. I do, but not great targeting. Affirmative. Well, you're not going to get any closer just by standing there. Got to no, gotta, gotta keep gotta, moving. Got to move. All right. Let's see. That's your guy. Um, we can probably get rid of a guy, or we could just try and dump on this. Let's dump on this mech. All right. 60% chance. Dump on him. Probably as good as we're going to get 60, 35, 70 on the guy who's on the ground. Let's just get rid of the guy who's on the ground. Sure. Um, and we get to choose a spot. Well, let's just go here. <laughs> Sucks for that guy. He's still alive though. Just barely. Yeah. Hanging on. Hanging to life. I like the music. Yeah. I mean, like I said, it's long, so you need something that's kind of right. not overpowering. What's up, boss? You know what's up. We're going to fight. Turn on the long range stuff. Yep. We'll be right in it. Much better. Move order received. All right. Um, they can multi-target, right? No, she cannot multi-target. Oh. How long does it take for the mech on the ground to stand up again? I think I'm going to hit on this. Oh, I'm over a mountain. Uh, usually the next round. Okay. They miss a turn. Uh, since I'm firing over everything, uh, I can only use my missiles. So I'm just going to hopefully get this person out of the fight. Oh, she just keep blowing up its legs. Oh, you suck. That's just a damn tank. Yeah, this isn't so bad. The thing is, every hit you take that penetrates your armor is like... Not great. Is not great, and eventually they'll start blowing off pieces of your mech, which you have to buy again. Right. Which oh, it's sucks. very expensive. Getting hit anywhere is very expensive. It sucks. So any damage you take, armor they'll do for free, but anything else just sucks. All right, that one will at least do something. I'm um, in that rough terrain, which is bad news. Who's got a shot on this guy? Oh, the down guy. Might as well just finish him, try and finish him off, yeah. right? Okay, that's it. Yay. That one's done. Have Alpha Squad pinned down in the Argos main hallway. Bravo Squad, Bravo Squad is holding the doors of engineering, but you better hurry up. Oh, this guy's. Oi, 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 oi. Okay. So that went bad. Oi, okay. Uh oh. Do you have to go claim her, uh, her unconscious body? No. <laughs> you just have one less to work with. Yeah. Or maybe two less to work with? <laughs> no, that, that didn't seem to do anything. Uh, but I think I'm going to call it there. And you know, we'll just pretend that part didn't happen. We mm -hmm. ended the quick look before that happened. Yep. Uh, that's Battletech. I really like it. Mm -hmm. It's it's fairly complicated. Uh, you know, That's clear. It, it's not yeah. it's not the most complicated uh, strategy game I've ever played, but there's a lot of systems to manage in it, which I think is very neat. And, and you really get attached to the mechs you're trying to build, but you have to manage a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Between heat management, evasion, um, uh, stability... And, you know, there's a whole universe of stuff in the Battletech universe, which 
you, for better or worse, I don't know if you want to yeah. steep yourself in mm-hmm. before getting in here, but uh, it's a it's a pretty in depth uh, game. Seems and like there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on, which can be very re- rewarding. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I probably got a lot of stuff wrong, uh, <laughs> but feel free to gently correct that uh, yes. in the in the comments or uh, mm-hmm. uh, like and subscribe. All right, uh, thanks everybody. Thanks, Thank Manny. you.